so good to see you again. How's it going? So good to see you. How are you? I'm doing so great. This movie is so fun. You are so good in this movie. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I mean, the first kind of main thing is, you know, preparing to play two characters. I mean, it's that's I feel like you look at that as a task. You're like, wow, like what was the preparation like for that for you? I was kind of thrown in last minute because I joined the production very, very late. So I only got a few days to kind of figure it out. But something that really helped is we had a lot of movement coaching. We had an amazing movement coach named Brie who kind of made us crawl around on the floor like dogs and play mama and baby and we'd parrot our lines back and forth and read each other's lines and I think that was something that really helped. And you know it's interesting because you know it's all storytelling whether the characters and the kind of worlds that you got to dive into but I'm just wondering specifically like does playing a character like Enid Sinclair help in any way your kind of experience playing CC and Jess Walker a little bit or are they, are they like separate kind of journeys in your opinion? I think Enid and it's very physical, and she, uh, you know, expresses herself a lot through her physicality, which is something that comedy, especially family switching body swap comedies, tend to do is be very physical. Yeah. So I think Enid was good, a kind of a good warm up for this sort of movie. And I feel like it's it's tough. This is a tough one, but in terms of fashion sense. I mean, Enid Sinclair or Jess Walker? I mean, who is the oh, better bat? I, I would know. pick Cece if I could, because Cece has better style over any of them. <laughs> but uh, would it be would it be Cece dressed in Jess Walker's clothes or Jess Walker as herself? Because oh, I like yeah. Jen Garner's Jess outfits, yes. but Cece that's Jess said, outfits yeah, not so much. About. Yes, I actually, my question was, yes, that was what it was. was okay. Cece as, as Jess Walker. Okay, yes. Cece as Jess Walker. I think I would go with Enid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's a tough one. I'm sorry, <laughs> Enid has to win that one. Oh, 100%. Um, the music in this movie is so good. Like, it's That's so... Fine. It's so good. I mean, you know, I'm a big kind of rock fan. I mean, there was Blink-182 in the trailer. There's Blink-182 in the movie. I'm so mm -hmm. happy about that. But specifically, you know, there's some really amazing dance sequences in this that I can't there wait. Are. And I listen to Bust the Move by Young MC Emma all the time. And oh you know God. what? After this movie, I'm going to listen to it again. But like, you know, I, just... I cannot help. I've heard that song played in public <laughs> a lot since we've wrapped this film. And I can't help myself but start dancing. So the dance that we do, it's kind of infectious. It's the best song. And the dance is so good. What was that like specifically? Did you have a lot of dance background before this? Was there any kind of like dance practice for that that kind of scene and that dance? Routine? Yeah, I was a competitive dancer growing up. So I catch on to dances really easily, which is good for this film. Um, but we had a choreographer named Beth who hired this crew of professional dancers and she taught it all to us one day. We ha I think we only had like 15 minutes to learn it because we were filming. Um, but it was so fun. It's nice to kind of get back into dancing because I haven't done it in a while and it was really fun to do it with these guys. You, there is like so many, like you're watching this movie and in terms of like the events of happening in this movie to the Walker family, there's so many big things that happen. Like, like mm -hmm. we like, there's like... <laughs> Pretty I mean, crazy. crazy. Pretty yeah. crazy. They told me they were they, coming to do it, and I was like, how did you get Weezer for this movie? Not, That's insane. And I'm, like, a big fan of them. Yeah. And, you know, and, you know, they're not playing Weezer. They're playing, you know, another band, mm -hmm. and they show up, and I'm like, I knew right away. I'm like, That's Weezer. Wait a second. That's you know? Weezer. You know, you've talked about it before a little bit, um, but, you know, working with Jennifer Garner, I mean, kind of, what was that like? What was that like learning from her? I feel like like every kind of scene you were learning, like some of your scenes are like some like I was laughing so hard with the uh -huh. conversation. It was so funny. She is hilarious and she really knows how to run things. You learn a lot by watching someone iconic like herself just do her job. She knows everybody's names all the time and she's super humble. And she's just also really funny and really personable. And she makes you feel really comfortable when you're working with her. So genuinely, we were having the time of our lives. 100%. I mean, I feel like on November 30th, you know, it's going to drop on Netflix. And then kind of it, it's going to be out of your hands and the cast's hands. It's going to be into the world. You're used to that, obviously, <laughs> with the Netflix effect, which, with what happened with Wednesday. And I think yeah. we did the interview like a day or two before oh, Wednesday. We did. I was, I think we did. Yeah, so we didn't really get a chance to 
talk about the impact, but now that you have like kind of like felt the impact, are you kind of like used to kind of what's going to maybe happen on November 30th a little bit? Or like, it's kind of a crazy thing to feel like you make this movie and then boom, the world gets to it see is because when you work on something, it's kind of your own personal little thing. And only the people who worked on it really know about it. And then it was like when Wednesday was released, it was this whole thing. Now everybody knows what we were doing. And so with this, it's kind of the same feeling of, oh God, now everybody knows the experience that we were having. And I think it's just really fun to be able to share that with people. And you know, and again, we didn't have a chance to kind of say this, but like, you know, the Enid Sinclair fans, it's a global fan base. It's like, it's yeah. incredible. Do you have anything you want to say to that, the fans? Oh my God. I'm so glad people liked Enid because I was really nervous people would find her annoying. But thank God nobody did. So thank you guys. Absolutely. But you know, on November 3rd, they're going to meet CeCe Walker, which is amazing. And um, also, yeah, like we didn't even talk about like the soccer component. Like what was that like filming in the, like filming those scenes specifically? There's so much. I feel like, in this movie. Oh my God. There were two soccer sequences I had to do. And I, I, I'm horrible at soccer. I had, I think a couple hours to kind of learn how to kick the ball around and I learned a couple moves, but for the most part, it was the amazing doubles they gave me because I, there's no way I could have done that. What is the kind of, I, it, it's pretty cool because it's all storytelling, but it's pretty cool to be able to do kind of like something like Wednesday that's like fantasy, that has kind of the scary moments, do something like this that's just a warm hug. I feel like that's one of the coolest things about being a storyteller, right? Kind of diving into all these worlds and situations. It's It's so amazing to be able to play different people all the time and have different experiences, like ones you would not normally have. And I really hope that this will become a classic because it's great. And I really want people to talk about it years later. And I feel it's so crazy because I remember like the announcement that you were cast. Oh, really? We're talking about the movie. Yeah, I remember when it was like you were cast, Brady New was cast, and it's like the movie's out like in like like 12 days, which is like crazy. And I feel like it, that's just such a, like you're also getting used to that as well, where it's just kind of these waves of like, Cast announcements, first look photos, trailers, right? Like yeah. it's a whole vehicle, basically. It is, it is. I mean, the way they release stuff is kind of all strategic. So half the time, I don't know what they're posting. They just are like, <laughs> by the way, your character art's out. What is like the mindset when you wrap a film like Family Switch, which is such a movie with, it's so, it has so much laughs, but it's mm -hmm. also... Like, it has so much heart and, like, a warm hug. What is that kind of mindset? Does it kind of just make you want to work on family movies more and more? Like, what is that Yeah, like for, for you? sure. When you work with people every single day together all day long for, like, four months, you become really close and like a family. And when you rap and all of a sudden it's over, it's really sad. I always cry when I rap. I don't know why. I'm just a baby like that. But... No, it definitely does make me want to work on more family comedies. I love family comedies. I think they're just really fun to work on, and you get to be ridiculous when, you know, most of the acting world wants you to be very serious. But I, I like being a little silly. And I can't wait for people to see Family Switch November 30th, Drop a Worldwide on Netflix, because it's such a fun family comedy. Like, I loved it so much. And oh, it was so good catching up with you. Thank you so much. So good to see you. Thank you for this. Yeah, no problem. So good to see you again. Thank you. Have good holidays. You too. See ya. Bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.